Welcome everybody. You join me today on a walk. Yeah, I'm gonna cook some bacon lardons. I've got some Madison sausage and I've got some bait sorry about that, some beans. So we're gonna be doing cooking that as well and eating that. I told you I'll be some cooking. There's no wild camp, just a nice walk, just to see what's around. My old boat it looks like it's falling apart. There we go. My old boat, as you can see, all was out at the moment. See, whatever you want to call it, there's a few boats there over the back there. I don't know if you can see that. That's the Titch Marsh Marina. Titch Marsh Marina. I think that's Harwich. I could be wrong. I don't think it's Felix though, I'm sure it's Harridge Docks. Could be wrong. I'm sure she'll put me right. She'll put it in there. Uh, there's a building in the distance there. That's the, uh, the tower. I don't know. Walton Tower, whatever you want to call it. This is all the Walton. All the Walton, all the way back there. And we're heading towards that way. I told you, not very good with all this stuff. This is what happens when you get me, you see. This is what happens when you get lumbered with me. It's nice though, isn't it? Look, got all the water. That's a caravan park. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Just remembered, it's called the Nase Tower. <laughs> Nase Tower. There you go, I knew I'd get it eventually. Oh dear. Yeah, it can't be helped. I'm not sure if they have otters in here or not. I really don't know. But all around here is all flat, isn't it? Look at that. It's really nice. I wonder if there's any fish in there. I don't know what you'd catch, but I'm sure there'd be someone that'd be able to tell me. I'd have no idea whatsoever. But, um,. Is it brackish water? I don't know. But you see it's all out at the minute. It's got a little bit running down the middle. It's not a bad trail. Just got to mind all the dog poo. Because they seem to... Uh, they don't even stick and flick here. They just leave it. All looks quite maintained though, doesn't it? All looks quite well uh, looked after. You say salt marsh and mud flats. Both common seal and grey seals can be found in the less disturbed areas of Hanford Water and can be difficult to tell apart. Grey seals generally are bigger. Common or harbour seals are in fact less common, though there is a small but healthy breeding population. So we've done alright. Birds, right, well, what have we seen? We haven't seen that. We've seen that one from a distance, a curlew. Uh, we haven't seen... <sighs> we haven't seen that one. What's this one? A common sniper, I think. We haven't seen a shuffler duck. 
mean, you haven't seen the grey heron. I mean, you know, you've seen the spoonbill, but you know, you can't film everything. It's too difficult. Plus, the wind don't bleed now. But yes, in general, we've seen all these plants here the common sea lavender and the golden samphire. I ain't filmed everything. It's just too much here. I think that is Harridge myself. I say plenty, it's just a nice area to walk really. It's got all this here. Oh hang on a minute, I think we've just seen it. <laughs> so golden sapphire. Must be this stuff here. Must be this. That must walk from over there by the way. We're gonna be well actually we've walked down that way. But we'll be meeting back up with the same path. Sorry about the wind, it stinks here as well. It's not a very nice smell. It smells like my drains that I've got to clear when I go home. Absolutely stinks. Absolutely stinks. You say. Nature reserve, right? Padlocked. Is this a part of the nature reserve? Must be. Okay. What we'll do, be on the safe side. This looks nice, here you go, look. Nature reserve, so we'll go and play it safe. We're heading in the right direction as well. Still smells by the way. Yeah, it still stinks. God it honks. It really does sting. That's along the seafront up there. That's where we've been walking. Not really got the trainers for this, have I? Because I am not prepared. There we go. I've just done a complete circle. Welcome. So I told you I was going to cook something. I'm going to do beans. Bacon lardons. Smoked Madison sausage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I brought me cook kit. This is my new cook kit. We're going to start trying to camp on uh, camp. Trying to cook on camp. So I know we're not on camp, but. This is just what I'm going to try and do today. Try and impress you with my my cooking. And by the way, I'm getting cramped sitting like this. So I might have to I might go cross-legged for this. I may have to go cross-legged for this. Because this is not going to be comfortable. I've got my little mini. Be 
finger. It's about that big. Tiny little thing. Anyway, so I'm using my OEX little Etna stove attachment as well. I'm using that today. Said I was going to cook, didn't I? There's a lighter in there. I've got lighters everywhere. We're doing all right today. We're not going to lose anything anyway. Right. See, and with the olive oil, the bacon, the lardons, and the medicine sausage, which is smoked sausage, it will be really, really nice. And we're going to add the tin of beans in there once the bacon is done because the sausage just needs to be warmed up. The bacon obviously needs to be cooked. There's people watching me filming myself now. This is what happens, I'm afraid. This is perfectly normal. We all go through it. We all go through it. As a YouTuber, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. You know? It is, it is unusual to see someone cooking, but, you know, this is nice. This is enjoyable. This is something you don't do very often. You know? None of us do this very often, do we? Look, I mean. Here we go. Cooking outside, everybody. When everybody's around you, just walking. They're all watching you. Enjoy the food. If you could smell that. How many people do a cooking, cooking sketch that's actually outside? In broad daylight. It's normally done in a woodland or in the evening. But I thought, nah. We're not camping, we're not doing anything wrong. The smell. Being outside, and actually I actually don't mind people watching me. I'm actually quite enjoying it to be honest, in a funny kind of way. Because it's like, it's like we're proper camping. I'm actually out camping, but I'm not. But you get that feeling because you're out in the open, you're free, there's no one, no one said anything, because no one dare come over. Only a dog would come over. Nobody would come over, no one's bothered. They watch. It's weird. It's really quite strange, to be honest. Just gonna add me me beans now. See that? See that? See? For a rubbish bag. It might look yucky. Let's have a, yeah, I'll get you to have butchers at this. There we go. Can you see that? It might look yucky, but we're talking. If Floyd was alive, this is what he would have cooked. I can guarantee you, this is what Floyd would have cooked. Almost like cowboy food. Guarantee this. Floyd was on a camping trip. Look 
all we're doing now is just warming it up and all for you people that are worried about me out there diet pepsi got a pepsi I did bring water with me, but I couldn't be bothered to use it. I thought this would be more fun for a cup of tea or a coffee, but I didn't fancy that. And hopefully, hopefully I won't give myself food poisoning by the way. I have, the, it was only the bacon, they're only lardons. They should be cooked anyway. I actually feel free. I don't know why. It's because you don't have to hide because you're just cooking. That's all you're doing. You're just cooking. <sighs> Bring you in a bit more, shall we? I know it looks like a bit of a, a mushy mess, but, you know. That is gonna be a nice meal. Proper food. Sorry. I'm sorry if I've got bits in my beard. That is beautiful. Seriously. If nobody has ever tried that before. Seriously. That is amazing. Get outside, cook outside. Like, subscribe and share. Let me know if you want me to do some more cooking outside. I meant proper cooking outside. Not like in the woodland. Right out here, outside. See that? That was a pheasant background nice yeah so if you want me do some cooking in the daylight let me know more than happy because you should stuff you can take camping got my day bag with me But this just um, stir fries, pork stir fry, do that. Anyway, want to do some daytime cooking for camping? Let me know. I'm gonna try and get some nice ones. But yeah, you can follow me on Instagram, Mark Posty One. <sighs> Nice little walk, this. It's been really good. Seen loads of people. Checked to a bloke on a bike. He's lost a load of weight. Which is good. It's £700 for a bike. I don't know whether that's good or bad. You bet that was one of the cheapest ones. You bet that was a really good bike. I wouldn't have thought 700 quid was cheap, but apparently 
Uh, the suspension, you could change the suspension or something, I don't know. Anyway. Cooking with Mark. What a success. That's where we just had lunch. That little spot there. And there. Got a little pool of water here, there's a seafront there. And there's people. I'm assuming this information is correct because you know sometimes disinformation comes from me, it doesn't mean to be that way. But that's just sometimes how I uh, get things mixed up. But I'm assuming that pillbox there used to be up here but like further out and it's fallen and as you can see it's getting worse but yeah so I'm assuming that once out there used to extend from here all the way out to there and that gives you a good example really of how it's all going along here I mean look I'm here but it's right there literally so it's not good and as you can see look there's more cracks appearing cracks here so it's gonna go one day here you go more for you that worries me there's like a sliver down there god i don't like this it actually scares me look all that's gone it goes all the way down there it slid all the way down, all the way to those people at the end. There's another pillbox. Yeah, this ain't good, is it? There's not going to be anything left. I don't know whether you'll be able to hear this, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Right, so, rocket testing. The area of land immediately behind this information board was from 1944 the scene of momentous military development work. Some of Britain's first guided missile experiments were conducted here by dedicated scientists and engineers. A small group of huts on aerial, an aerial, a spinning pit to test valves and a launcher converted from 3.7 inch gun mounting saw regular rocket firings off the cliff tops and out over to the sea so that's what it was there you go so it was each test was filmed for a huge grid of wires with lights at the intersections while attempts were made to steer the missile by remote control the fragility of the valves in the rockets caused almost insurmountable pro problems and it wasn't until after the war the war ended at the end of 1945 that a truly successful launch was made let's learn about anti-aircraft there's the anti-aircraft there in this same area in April 1944 a group of home guards are seen training on a 3.7 inch anti-aircraft gun note the line of the anti-aircraft rocket launchers in the in the background these were not guided missiles but were intended to be fired on mass I've done a lot of filming on this walk don't worry I'm gonna cut it down anyway so this is of the, the coastal erosion that's going on it's quite bad as you can see slowly eroding away this is at Walton as you can see yeah, it's disappearing see that eroding away obviously it's very dangerous and you shouldn't do what I'm doing don't walk along it, it's stupid. But I just want to show you how bad it actually is. Slowly but shortly, it's disappearing. Uh, 
and this is not good because it said I could have swore it weren't this bad before I was here all the way along there could have swore it weren't this bad you know I mean I've actually camped along here so it's a bit concerning really to be honest I probably would go back here because this is what I consider is my spot but uh, to think that you know all this is going to be gone you know it's quite sad but we haven't seen no seals and I don't think we're likely to either but yeah all this is going I mean one day you won't be able to get down I won't even be able to get down here to camp so but yeah there you go it's a nice view though. See, I'm sure there's a big ship out there somewhere. Mightier than the violent raging of the sea, mightier than the breakers on the shore, the Lord above is mightier than these. Psalm 93, verse 4. If people can have fires and have group camps, you got to expect to be moved on really, ain't you? But yeah, if you haven't seen that video, I think it's Paul, Paul Mesner. It's worth watching. Uh, just uh, He's just letting you know information really, just to be careful. But it's well worth it. Go over to his channel, have a look. And, uh, you know, if you're going to go to these places, like he said, go to the lesser well-known spots. And uh, don't go if like four or five people bye bye you can't hear me but we're back at the nice tower now um, it's strange everybody looks at it when you do this you do feel a bit self conscious self conscious we're back at the nice tower nice tower there wildlife trust there that's their building, no one's in it because you're not allowed, but they go and get their teeth and bring them out and sit in the wind. Anyway, I hope you like the video. Something different. I think I've, <laughs> I've learned something as well. Anyway, have a good one. I hope you found it interesting. And uh, that was about a four hour walk, that was. I'm naked. Anyway, bye everybody.